when I listened to the music, I was like, whoa, I mean, it's, it's still Death Angel, but it's the ideas and the riffs that were created, and even the drum beats, it's like, it's a little, it was, you know, outside the box a little. You know, it was, it was still Death Angel, but it was like, we kind of like took a little detour in terms of uh, the stylings of the riffs and the arrangements and even the drum beats Will was doing. I know the way that, the way that we work has like, it's become really in such a flow that sometimes I look forward to pushing, pushing Will out of the box of his like normal comfort zone, let's say. But because I know that when he's gonna get, you know, get what I'm talking about, he's gonna kind of get a new flavor in his, in his playing. I'm really proud of the way Will has grown as a drummer and now like the more and more we can go further with things because he's like into these kind of experimental and cool different things that he doesn't normally do. So with this kind of headspace, it really, it, it kind of, you know, opens the door to what I like to do, which is to be able to feel a bit limit, limitless in the music that we can do in the style of Death Angel.